as you know that TCS has announced its TCS NQT exam for 2024 batch of campus hiring so in this video we were going to discuss like how to crack TCS coding exam so as you know that in TCS we have two sections first one is the foundation section and second one is the advanced section so in this in this video I will be talking about the coding part which is a part of the advanced section so as you know that in the advanced section there are two sections first one is the advanced quantitative and reasoning the time is 25 minutes and the number of question is between 14 to 15 that is again depends upon the TCS team next one is the advanced coding the time allocated for this section is 90 minutes and the number of question will depends upon the TCS team that is between 2 to 3 so in this video I will be talking about like how to prepare for advanced coding section and how to clear it so this is the categories for TCS hiring uh, first one is the ninja profile for 3.2 3 LPA second one is the digital for 7 LPA and third one is the prime for 9 LPA so prime is the highest profile for the freshers in TCS and in this particular year prime is also included because in the previous year there, there are only two profiles ninja and digital but in this year they have all also included one more category that is the prime profile okay so as you know that there are between there are like two to three coding question that is again depend upon the TCS team so in uh, like uh, I will tell you like how to solve the step by step question like how to approach the coding question in the examination so you can see this is the sample question uh, sample question that is in the screen you can see like there are majorly four sections in the uh, in the question first one is the description you can see this is the description of the question okay this is the constraints this is the input format and this is the output like what you have to print okay so what you have to do is first you have to simply read out the question okay so this is the description of the question so first you have to simply read out the question and extract the things like what is uh, telling in the question like what we have to find and like what is the logic of this question first you have to read out the question and extract the main things from the question because in the in the examination there is like a question of very big paragraph uh, so you need to extract the main things from the question then there is a constraint you can see here uh, like in this question like uh, there are only two types of animals and an l are greater than zero so this is the constraint that is given given in the question constraints are very important to know that uh, 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 like the solution that we are thinking is correct or not the time complexity and the space complexity will be correct or not according to constraint we will figure it out okay next one is the input format uh, so you can see like uh, in the input we have given two things n and l so like uh, we uh, we have to take firstly take uh, you have to firstly like uh, uh, read out the question extract the logic from the question then uh, write the sample pseudocode in the pen on paper okay uh, use pen and paper that will be much better because if you directly going to write the code then it will become difficult so first extract the uh, logic from the question then write, write a kind of a pseudo code like uh, let's say if you are if in the question there are like two conditions so uh, write in the pseudo code in the pen paper like x greater than 2 and y greater than 3 something like that write the pseudo code in the uh, in the paper and then after writing the pseudocode and the paper uh, check if like we are uh, we are getting the correct answer or not af by dry running so okay so this is the input so you can take the input and uh, uh, dry run with the help of the pseudocode and check if the uh, output that we are getting is expected if that is same or not then you will be going ahead with the code part otherwise uh, change some logic or uh, read the question again or uh, like if you are missing any things or not okay so this is the thing 
so uh, uh, i uh, like i will be tell you like step by process to solve the question in the examination i am discussing here for c++ that is very similar to python and java as well okay there is no much difference i will be telling you like how to solve the particular step by step question in c++ okay first you have to read out the question okay and extract the uh, logic and main things okay and write in in a paper in a pseudo code format okay then uh, then you have to take the input check the constraints then you have to write the main function then you have to write logic and then the output will be printed okay so uh, let's say you read the question and you got the logic that this is a, a logic and you have written in the pseudo code in the paper okay then what you have to do is you have to first include the header file that is in c++ we have hash include uh, iostream.h something like that you have to include the header file then you have to write the main function in cpp then you have to take the input okay then you have to write your logic and then you have to print the output okay this is the thing that is there in the c++ it is very similar to java and python in java we have we have to make a main class okay and inside the main class we have to write the main method and again input logic and output okay similarly in python like uh, in python you know that uh, we do not need to write the main function so simply you can take the input in the python you have to write your logic and simply the output part okay so this is the thing that is there to step by step process to solve the question also in the examination there are two types of test cases are there public test case and the private test case okay public test case are those test case which are visible to us okay so uh, public test case are visible to us and private test case are not visible to us okay and in order to get the maximum score from the coding section you have to again pass public as well as private test case if you pass both of the test case then your score is high in the coding exam okay you need to pass public test case as well as the private test case in the examination okay so like uh, some of the important points that i will be telling you regarding the tcs coding exam is like choose one programming language learn its basics and syntax because uh, if you uh, like you can choose between any language like c++ java and python okay any language you can choose choose one language and learn it all the basic concepts and syntax because if your basics and and syntax is not clear then you will not able to code in the examination so i will recommend you the first choose a language either c++ java or python and learn its basic concepts and syntax okay solve some question on a daily basis from coding platform i will suggest uh, go from hacker rank because it is a very beginner friendly platform go from hacker rank lead code and geeks for geeks okay and you can on uh, also search the at previous year TCS coding exam, you will get a uh, lots of question. So you can uh, daily uh, on a daily basis. Like we have like uh, uh, the exam is on twenty fifth of April, so we have only twenty five days. Okay, and if you solve two question daily, then we have we have solved fifty question. That is more than enough for TCS examination. Okay, so I will recommend this thing on the this is the very important thing if you solve two question per daily and we have 25 days then we have solved more than 50 question okay so this is very important logic is very important because if you are not able to extract the logic then uh, you will not able to write the code and the test cases will not be passing so again practice is very important practice on a daily basis and the coding performance is very important for getting the uh, uh, interview call for digital and prime profile because uh, because uh, uh, again it is uh, dependent upon the TCS team so let me explain you in the whiteboard here so like the number of question will depend upon the TCS team like okay the number of question will be dependent upon the TCS team if we have 
let's suppose we have two question then if you solve between 1 to 1.5 there is maximum chances of digital profile again this is totally dependent upon the TCS team and if you solve two question with all the test cases then there is a high chances for prime profile okay again this criteria will be dependent upon the TCS team but this is the expected okay and let's say there will be three question in the examination so if you solve between 2 to 2.5 then there is a chances for digital okay and if you solve all the three question with all the test cases then there is a high chances for prime profile that is for 9 LPA and digital is for 7 LPA again this is the rough criteria it is totally dependent upon the TCS team okay so this is the kind of question that that may come in the examination okay so like uh, the uh, as we have discussed like the coding performance is very important for getting digital and prime profile because uh, they are offering uh, like 7 LPA and 9 LPA so, so they are expecting that your coding skill will be very good in, in the, for the digital and the prime profile and a criteria that we have discussed like there are uh, I have discussed like if you are if you have two que uh, two questions then 1 to 1.5 will be getting the digital again this is dependent upon the TCS team and if you solve two questions then there will be high chances pro for prime profile again depends upon TCS team and if there is three question then 2 to 2.5 digital profile chances are there and if there are three questions and if you solve all the three questions with all the test cases this there is a high chances for prime profile okay so this is the rough criteria okay so this is all about this video so and we are going to uh, launch other uh, certain live and live videos in the upcoming session so stay tuned for more subs more such updates if you have any doubts then let me know in the comments and we will meet you in the next section bye bye